This is Dave McCain with the Right Tree Genealogy doing another video on the Family Finder and a comparison a little later in the video on a tester that has both the Family Finder and has a big Y that results shortly afterwards. So what I'm looking at is there's been a discussion by a lot of us uh, related to does the Family Finder give us a recent haplogroup? I'm going to step through five testers uh, today all of them since my last video and show what we've learned uh, most recently. So our first tester, his results came back April 15th, 2024. A significant statement here is his actual was batched for his family finder on December the 2nd, 2019. So this shows that their step back in time, family tree DNA has actually got people back to the early parts of the latest chip and we've received notification from, from Family Tree DNA. Uh, they're starting on the old chip, and then they're going to go to the transfers for the other companies. So, hey, they're, they're making major progress, which I want to state that I'm very pleased with. I was thinking they were going to be a little longer in, in getting it done, but they got quite a bit done. So this person's confirmed haplogroup group is RS4458, which is about 1800 BCE or BC. And we're looking at 4,000 years ago. We, we've got them already in a group. They've tested a lower level uh, YSTRs. So we have them in, in one of our lineages. The Family Finder did give them a confirmed HEPO group, did put them where we expected them to be. And now it's a matter of uh, getting the tests down the line further on a big Y if we can. The second tester's data came in on April the 16th, 2024 that I'm showing here. And it has a confirmed haplogroup of I, Y3712. Again, a different one of our lineages in our project. And this one's way back there. Uh, this person's approaching uh, 5,500 years ago. This person had a Y37. However, they do have a haplogroup in, and they do match another person in that lineage that we have. Again, the YSTRs allowed us to place the person, but they're very distant. So that's two of them. And this is going down the line that I've seen in the past. As I'm stepping through this, I'm going to get the two at toward the end of this uh, that you're going to be more interested in. But I want to show, hey, I'm still seeing low-level YSTR testers having very distant haplogroups showing with Family Finder. Let's go to a, the, the third one. Now, another one, this the particular tester's uh, kit came through for the results, the updated results. And I want to point out here that it says updated results or results completed April 30th, 2024. Well, the reality, this tester had his original Family Finder in April of 2019. They are still back in the for about 4,000 years ago standpoint. And so as I was going through this, I went, well, we're still where we were before until the next two came up. And let's get into those. The next tester I'm about to show you joined the project this year uh, around April time frame and had done a family finder test and also initiated a big Y700 test. Let's take a look at the next person's data and see what it looked like for the family finder and what it looked like to them for their big Y700 and a little more discussion around what their benefits were with their big Y700 compared to the family finder in this case. So this person's big Y results are at FT367403. It just so happens, I've, as an admin, I've turned on notifications for whenever their haplogroup changes, I'll get a notification. So that way I'll know when a family finder comes in or when a person upgrades from a lower test to an, a, a big Y test, then I can see when it happens, I get the notification. When this particular person, as I said, joined the project late uh, and they're in a different one of our different lineages, they match some of our members, their family find results is actually right here. FT253317 at 1050 CE. That is the latest I've seen on anybody. To have that most recent with a family finder was amazing to me, although I know I've heard people talk about it. This is the first person that showed that late of a family finder result and that's all I can tell. I looked at their order history and really basically they've ordered a family finder and then they ordered a big Y. 
they got that light of a result. So that's significant meaning that's really great for a project in this case. Uh, let's go back over to their data. So they were at 1050 CE. That, that's a great result. There were also a Y111 uh, tested. Family tree DNA has tens of thousands of SNPs that show up on their family finder. And depending on which chip it is, will determine how many, but they're newer chip. So it is relevantly stated that some people are going to get lucky, lucky, and there's going to be closer to modern era. And then you're going to have those who uh, are like most of the people I've shown so far have an older one. But I want to bring up right here in the comparison that this is their big Y. Their big Y results brought them forward a couple hundred years, which is roughly four to five generations closer. What also happens here is that they can see who their matches are on the big Y, they can see their block tree, which you cannot see with Family Finder. They can see the match list, which you cannot see with Family Finder. You can see where you are on the haplo tree, which I'm gonna bring up here right now. Actually, first I'm gonna show their progression uh, related to history. You look at the 1950 BCE, the S1491 here, and you go up here, and so where they were was this line number two was with their family finder. And then with their uh, big Y, it was here. So I do want to sh show something here that is interesting as well. Immediate descendants of this group. Two modern descendants, because they came forward by that many. There's two people. So this individual and another person. So I've hidden who his matches actually are, but he matches individuals starting here all the way over here. He's got those on his match list and his actual branch here. They each have quite a few variants to, between them. So between them, That's why it's so far back in time still. That's awesome. So good news for him as he moved forward in time. He sees his matches. Bad for him, it's not... It's not really in the within a few hundred years. It's still 800 years for him in the past. It means he's got work that he can do. He has people he can work with. For his benefit, you know, he is in a lineage in our project, and those individuals we can work with. Uh, if questions come up, we can talk to them and, and direct them where they can go. And he also has the family finder. And his family finder gives him the other benefit of being able to find other testers that match him through his paternal line and potentially testing, see if he could get them to test to see where their lines separate. So now I'm going to go to our last one I'm going to show today. This individual's kit came in significantly closer to modern era. This tester autosomal came through on May the 3rd, 2024. Their kit was originally batched January of 2019. Old chip. So this person had the old chip. He also has a Y111. And he came in at haplogroup A1720. 1450 CE. We have a lot of testers in this area. However, to come through within 600 years uh, it is very impressive the most impressed I can be on the family finder. So those SNPs were found then, but again, it's all a luck case. Is your SNP found inside the family finder groups? And in this case, is is. Now this guy is testing all the way up here. Um, the person who tested a 1706 has a Y37 kit. This guy has an a as a Y111. Now does that mean that uh, the Y111 and Y37s are significant. Well, well, we'll look into that later. But right now, to go into this one, where he falls into this category of A1720, there's also something that's interesting, and I'm going to show it to you now. It shows, here's our lineage path that we go. Anybody that shows in L196 is in our lineage one part of our project. We have 100, 120 plus people tested, Y tested at some level at that uh, lineage one. Looking at his, again, this is family finder results, and there's another way to look at this, but I'm gonna show it this way on this video. He shows positive, he has actual positive SNP values in his family finder data, and he also is Y111, with these upstream 
SNPs. Notice, however, some of these are presumed positive, and the reason they're presumed positive is a known upstream of this because he is positive for these three. He does not show for this. This is You're only going to find this with big Y where you fall into here. So what we've gained here is this. There is a modern era test that you can get lucky with your family finder and have a modern era. And I've heard people tell me, hey, I've, I've got it within 700 years and, and etc. You don't gain who your matches are and you can't uh, get into a project based on that SNP in the sense of you won't show up on their Y DNA testing unless you have uh, Y37 or in this case Y37 and Y111. Uh, also, uh, if you do big Y, that 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 knocks all this uh, out of the picture because your your Y your big Y gives you every one of the SNPs you have plus your private variants. Uh, but Family Finder did find this individual. We have actually contacted this person uh, to follow up with doing a big Y test. If you like this kind of content, as I mentioned earlier, you can find the playlist for the Family Finder, as I've been discussing it for over the last several months, right here. Uh, or you can watch the other video playlist for Family Tree DNA in general here. And if you're interested in this kind of content, you can subscribe right here. Let's continue learning together.